I just don't see the data. I don't see anything to support it. I think it's beautiful. Beautiful. I think they should. Jersey residents reacted to Governor Murphy's new executive order requiring them to wear masks outdoors if they're in situations where it's too crowded to safely social distance, say a packed boardwalk or beach. I would imagine that people might have a hard time with it, especially in the beach areas, but I don't have a problem with it around here. Why not? Uh, because I think it's important to keep everyone safe. I'm feeling very frustrated by this whole thing. And I think that <clears throat> until there's a vaccine, we can't, we can't just be prisoners forever in this state. That's how I feel. Current New Jersey regulations only require masks at indoor venues. They just recommend face coverings in crowds outside. At his daily briefing, the governor explained why he's making outdoor masks mandatory. Requiring masks outdoors is a step, frankly, that I had hoped we would not have to take. And by and large, New Jerseyans by the millions have been outstanding in their compliance when masking up to go outside, uh, as it was our strong recommendation. But unfortunately, we have been seeing a backslide in compliance as the weather has gotten warmer, and not surprisingly, as a result, our rate of transmission has similarly crept up. On Sunday's Meet the Press, Murphy called for a national mask policy. Uh, we're starting to see a, a, a small spikes in reinfection from folks coming back from places like Myrtle Beach and, and a, as well as in Florida, other hot spots. To me, it says we need a national strategy. We're only as strong as our weakest link right now. Most epidemiologists say social distancing plus hand hygiene plus masks altogether offer the best defense against spreading the virus. It's our human instinct to try to move closer to people when we're having those conversations. And so six feet very quickly becomes four feet. Um, and so I think that if we have this as an added layer of protection, it really just helps reduce the risk. And I think that there are situations where maintaining six feet is really difficult. Like Here's the big question. How do you enforce this kind of an executive order? Do you give people warnings, summonses, and who decides if there's even been an infraction? The governor's executive order will task local law enforcement with monitoring compliance, particularly in crowded situations. This is admittedly going to be harder. Um, and again, it's where social distancing is not practicable. That's the important caveat. Well, he doesn't even know how it's going to be enforced. He sort of left that open-ended. We would hope everybody do, does it. Otherwise, uh, I guess I'm paraphrasing, they will have to use stronger measures. What does that mean? Senator Joe Panaccio criticized Murphy for continuing to mandate behaviors by executive order instead of consulting lawmakers. If he wants to force everybody to have masks, fine, show me the evidence. Show me the science. We have a governor that for about 120 days has, has ruled. He has not governed. We have, we have a legislature that's been on the sidelines. There are exceptions. People eating and drinking at outdoor restaurants, people whose health is endangered by masks, or kids under age two. Everyone else will have to mask up. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.